Let's dive into the steps to upgrade your computer to Windows 11 version 25H2 using the latest preview of the operating system. It's important to know that at the time of this video, the feature update is not ready, so it's not recommended to install it on your primary PC. You should use a spare computer or a virtual machine. Now, if you already have Windows 11 running on a specific device, this is what you do to start testing the new improvements and new features for version 25H2. Okay, first let's open the settings app and to do that, go to the start menu and look for settings. Then we're going to go to Windows Update. Then we're going to go to Windows Insider Program and then click the Get Started button. Click the Link Your Account button, select your account, click Continue. And now select, now in here, select the Insider Channel. At the time of this recording, the Dev Channel is the only one that includes previews for version 25H2. Depending on when you're watching this video, you might want to choose a different channel, such as Beta or Release Preview. You can always check the video in the description to the link to the written instructions on how to do this with update details of our version 25H2 and the Windows Insider program. Click Continue, click Continue, click Continue, and click the Restart Now button. Now we need to go to the settings app one more time. Then go to Windows Update. Click the Check for Updates button. It is important to know that when you enroll your computer in the Windows Insider program, it can take up to 24 hours for the computer to start seeing new updates. And now, as you can see, the computer is now downloading the latest preview for Windows 11 version 25H2. Now you can continue using the computer and then you will need to restart the device in order to apply the new version of the operating system. Once the update is ready to install on your computer, just click the restart button. After the reinstall, the computer will continue with the upgrade process. Since this is an upgrade, you won't have to go through the initial setup and after the installation, the computer will go straight to the desktop. And that's it. We completed the upgrade to Windows 11 version 25H2. We can confirm the installation by going to the settings app and then on the about page, we should now see version 25H2 installed on the computer with the latest preview build available through the dev channel in this case. Now here are a few things to consider. If we go to the Windows Insider program, if you want to stop preview builds from the dev channel, you're going to notice that the option is not available. And at this time, if you want to roll back, you will have to do it through a clean installation process. Now, if it's been 10 days since the upgrade, we can go to system recovery and from here, you can use this option to revert to the previous version of Windows 11, and that will uninstall version 25H2 from your computer. Now, if you want to change channels, it is an option that you can do. However, right now, you can only go from the dev channel to the Canary channel. And that's it. That is a quick way that you can upgrade your spare computer or a virtual machine already running Windows 11 to version 25H2 on the preview stage, or specifically in the dev channel. Let me know in the comments if you plan to upgrade to version 25H2 during the development stage to test upcoming features. Also like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.